What if two ancient lands, divided by the sea for millennia, could finally be tethered by steel and concrete? Imagine driving from Saudi Arabia's vast, sun-scorched deserts straight into the heart of Egypt's historic Sinai Peninsula within hours. A journey that today demands costly flights or long detours through Jordan and ferries. This is the bold reality Saudi Arabia is striving to create with its ambitious King Salman Causeway, also known as the Moses Bridge. This colossal structure promises to link Saudi Arabia's Tabuk region near Neom to Egypt's Sharm el-Sheikh, forging an unprecedented connection between Asia and Africa. Beyond its sheer engineering scale lies a deeper vision to reshape trade routes, empower religious tourism, and amplify Saudi Arabia's geopolitical influence under its Vision 2030. Could this be the final puzzle piece in the Middle East dream of economic integration? Or will it remain a grand idea lost to politics, environmental concerns, and turbulent seas? Today, let's delve into Saudi Arabia's $4 billion bridge to Egypt. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The idea of building a bridge between Saudi Arabia and Egypt across the Red Sea dates back to the 1980s, when discussions under Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak and Saudi leaders focused on easing Hajj pilgrimages and boosting trade. Though formally proposed in 2005 as the King Salman Causeway, environmental concerns over the Red Sea's delicate coral reefs and security risks in Sinai halted progress. In 2016, King Salman revived the vision during his visit to Cairo, signing strategic agreements including the bridge plan, alongside the transfer of Tehran and Sanafir Islands to Saudi Arabia, which are critical to the proposed route. Today, this project aligns with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, aiming to diversify its economy beyond oil by enhancing infrastructure, logistics, and tourism. The bridge seeks to integrate the economies of both nations, creating a direct land trade route from the Arabian Peninsula into North Africa and Europe. It will channel tourists into Neom, Saudi Arabia's futuristic $500 billion city, while strengthening Riyadh's geopolitical influence in the Arab world. Ultimately, the bridge symbolizes decades of ambition to boost religious travel economic integration, and regional connectivity, reflecting Saudi Arabia's transformative vision for its future. The proposed $4 billion Saudi-Egypt causeway is set to become one of the world's most strategically significant crossings. Spanning the Strait of Tehran, this visionary structure will connect Ras Humaid in Saudi Arabia's Tabuk region, within the Neo megacity zone, to Ras Nazrani near Egypt's Sharm el-Sheikh. Designed to stretch across the Red Sea, with its full infrastructure, including sea crossings and land approaches. Extending over 32 kilometers, it will traverse near the geopolitically sensitive Tehran and Sanafir Islands. On the Saudi side, it will integrate into Neom's futuristic transport corridors, catalyzing trade and tourism. On the Egyptian side, it links directly into national highways, opening routes connecting North Africa's trade networks to the Middle East. Strategically positioned near Israel, Jordan, and critical maritime routes, it demands diplomatic agreements and security guarantees to maintain navigational freedom through the Strait of Tehran. Beyond trade and geopolitics, it carries cultural significance by easing pilgrimage routes for millions traveling to Mecca, while unlocking tourism potential along the Red Sea's pristine coasts. Ultimately, this bridge promises to redefine regional commerce, culture, and strategic cooperation. From a design perspective, the Moses Bridge Project envisions a hybrid combination of bridge, causeway, and potentially tunnel segments, tailored to the unique topography and maritime navigation requirements of the Strait of Tehran. The bridge would be among the longest water crossings ever built with complex design requirements for sections reaching up to 75 meters in height to allow uninterrupted ship traffic. Engineers are considering cable-stayed or suspension bridge designs, with spans reaching several kilometers, capable of supporting dual-purpose lanes for highways and high-speed rail. The project will involve deep water foundations and reinforced pile systems to anchor the bridge securely. Material choices are likely to include high-strength steel and reinforced concrete composites 
to withstand marine corrosion and heavy loads. While seismic-resistant design features will safeguard against regional tectonic activity, careful route selection aims to avoid dense coral reef zones, and innovative solutions may include elevated spans minimizing seabed disturbance or submerged tunnel sections that protect critical navigation routes and marine habitats. Ultimately, the bridge design must balance aesthetic ambition with practical requirements, ensuring structural elegance while maintaining environmental sensitivity. Engineers estimate that the construction of the Moses Bridge could take about 10 years to complete. The political motivations behind Saudi Arabia's plan to build a bridge to Egypt are deeply rooted in its quest for regional dominance and strategic security. This bridge strengthens Riyadh's economic and political alliance with Cairo, reinforcing Saudi influence over Egypt at a time when the latter is grappling with economic instability. Beyond bilateral ties, the bridge asserts Saudi Arabia's power projection across the Red Sea, a critical maritime corridor threatened by regional conflicts. Strategically, it enables Saudi Arabia and Egypt to present a united front against external powers such as China, which is expanding its naval and economic footprint through Belt and Road projects in nearby ports and sea routes. Furthermore, the bridge traverses the Strait of Tiran, an area governed by the Camp David Accords, necessitating Israeli approval and thus subtly reinforcing diplomatic ties with Tel Aviv. More importantly, the bridge will create the first direct land connection between Asia and Africa, strengthening trade routes that have relied solely on maritime transit for centuries. The bridge positions Saudi Arabia as a unifier of continents and cultures while fulfilling Vision 2030's aspirations for economic diversification and geopolitical leverage. Ultimately, this project is a statement of intent to anchor Saudi Arabia as the pivotal power linking Africa, Asia, and the wider global trade network. Saudi Arabia's ambitious $4 billion Red Sea Bridge promises to transform the geopolitical and economic landscape of the region. The bridge is expected to accelerate economic integration by enabling faster cargo transportation, reducing freight costs, and creating an efficient logistics corridor between Neom and Egypt's new administrative capital. Additionally, it will provide a vital new route for pilgrims traveling to Mecca, easing congestion in airports and seaports. Tourism will see a dramatic boost as visitors gain direct access to both Saudi megaprojects like Neom and Egypt's renowned Red Sea resorts driving employment growth in hospitality, retail, and transport sectors across Tabuk and Sinai. Beyond economics, the bridge carries symbolic weight, cementing strategic ties between two regional powerhouses and signaling pan-Arab unity to the world. Constructing the proposed Moses Bridge between Saudi Arabia and Egypt has faced formidable challenges and sparked considerable criticism. Environmentalists warn that construction could devastate the Red Sea's fragile coral reefs. The Strait of Tehran is a globally significant marine habitat with over 300 coral species and 1,200 types of fish, many endemic and highly sensitive to sedimentation, turbidity, and pollution. Engineering complexity is another hurdle. The bridge requires deep water foundations, seismic-resistant structures, and submerged tunnels. Politically, the bridge crosses geopolitically sensitive waters, demanding robust agreements between Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Israel, and regional stakeholders to preserve security and navigational freedom under the Camp David Accords. Strategically, such a fixed link becomes a potential target for attacks or sabotage, necessitating extensive security infrastructure. The project has also stirred public outrage in Egypt, where the transfer of Tehran and Sanafir Islands to Saudi Arabia ignited mass protests, with critics accusing President Sisi of selling national land. Economically, despite projected benefits from trade, tourism, and pilgrimage flows, recouping construction and maintenance costs could take decades, especially if regional instability arises. Socially, local communities may face displacement, cultural heritage risks, and uneven economic impacts. 
Together, these intertwined environmental, technical, political, security, financial, and social challenges could determine the bridge's fate between visionary integration and unrealized ambition. Saudi Arabia's plan to build a bridge to Egypt has now reached an advanced stage, with planning fully completed and execution preparations underway. Recent statements by Egypt's transport minister confirm that detailed studies for both bridge and tunnel options are finalized, enabling imminent tendering. As of now, the bridge remains a proposal on the cusp of reality. The plans are drawn, the route is set, and the world watches to see if this modern engineering marvel will rise from the Red Sea. Its future outlook hinges on resolving environmental concerns surrounding the Red Sea's delicate coral reefs and marine ecosystems, alongside maritime navigation rights. Despite these hurdles, analysts forecast construction could begin by late 2025 or early 2026, marking a transformative era in Red Sea infrastructure and geopolitics. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.